<laughs> it is um, it is a process, and it starts with uh, pre-production and research, which is uh, vitally important. You've got to know your story, where you what you think your story is to start with. We're doing a documentary about micro litter in the San Marcos River. So micro litter consists of things like cigarette butts, uh, Jello shot tubes plastic water bottle caps, hair ties, just the little things that people tend to overlook but have a huge effect on the river. We are interviewing, you know, four to five people, so I'm hoping we'll get enough information. Setting up is always a hassle, I think, um, just because there's so many steps that you have to um, think about with the camera and you know, setting up the tripod and getting it at the right level, but at the same time you want them to feel comfortable too, and you want to kind of do it quick so that, you know, they're not losing interest or get frustrated because we all have places to be. Classes on fundamentals of audiovisual or? That's what we're in right now. Oh, that's pretty what much, yeah. 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 That's pretty all cool. Right. So we are just interviewing Tom Hardy and he specializes in micro litter and um, we basically just wanted to get his um, insight on the river and he mainly talked about like the population growing and how micro litter is affected by that. We were interviewing Colleen Cook and she specializes in uh, micro litter uh, with the river, uh, specifically um, confetti. Yeah, we got some good feedback from her. Also, there's a lot of background noise, a lot of people, you know, just playing basketball at the park and everything. I definitely did hear that while we were recording in, uh, like, in the ear pods or whatever. Okay. Yeah, the interviews are looking great. Mm -hmm. um, as far as B-roll goes, though, we still definitely need to get more of that. <laughs> One of the problems that you get as a director and producer is the shooting ratios. How, how much are you shooting versus how much are you using? And of course, you, you want to shoot as much as you need to until you get something really good and then maybe a little more. But you have to be careful that you don't overwhelm yourself by just shooting everything and then having a hard time deciding what to use in the end or not having anything good to choose from in the end. Okay. And the only thing that sucks is that we didn't get any like trash and like... So that's that's a bit of a, uh, a trick and I can't tell you how to solve that. You, you'll know um, you know the good stuff when you see it and you just don't don't quit till you get it. And of course then at the end you have to um, uh, take everything and boil it down through the process of editing into your finished product. We officially have our first clip-in, <laughs> so yeah. we're, we're getting there. We're getting yeah. there. We, yeah. our, like, we've been mainly just doing hard copies, like we transcribed all of our interviews, mm -hmm. and so we've just been looking at that, like taking notes while watching the interviews too, and just highlighting like the sections we need. So we've been formatting it more than we've been editing it yeah. so far. Yeah. We have so much information, and so now I'm trying to condense it into like what we really want to mm -hmm. put in it, into it is the hardest part, mm -hmm. I think. It, it, we, like in the beginning, it was a lot because everything was everywhere, like mm -hmm. in different folders, but now um, we're starting to get a hang of it. Yeah. Now we kind of, we're really familiar with the interviews because mm -hmm. we've been listening to them over and over again. So now we kind of are like, all right, this is the part where that we need to use or this is the part we're not going to use. Or yeah, or if we listen to one, we're like, oh, well, Tom said this, now go really good with this. Yeah. And yeah. so. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. So yeah. And then we also realized that um, looking through the interviews that we're no longer going to focus on just micro litter, but uh, people's effect on the river. You know, micro litter is a super important thing that a lot of people don't know about, but it's also the tubers that affect the river. You know, the population of San Mar Marcos growing, that affects the river too. So we didn't really know that coming mm -hmm. into it, but then yeah, after the interviews, we learned a lot as well. So that's why we decided to switch it up. To educate the people. Yeah. Just like we were educated. Yeah. <laughs>